So the softer factory is not a new term that came about 1971-ish, like when we are building up our softwares, when we are writing a, a code. So software factory is going to help us or as a concept, as an umbrella, and we may use the multiple pipelines right here. We have a multiple pipelines that we can edit so we can produce the, a software or we can produce a system. So let's a little bit open up here, just gonna come back shortly. So you may have software factory here. So you may have various software delivered environment. You may call as a DevSecOps environment. Let's make it a bit short so we can make the good work better. We may have a DevSecOps environment here. We may have another DevSecOps environment here, and then here. Because each of this pipeline that you are building has a specific requirements for the system, maybe the components that you are building. Maybe you are building some of API here. You may have some other a complete system probably you're building. So the combination of the multiple pipelines is constructed and building a software factors. So software factory will help us use the same practices. This is important. We're using the same practices, same process, like process art, we have to check in, check out, we have to connect it, we have to create an issue track, and we have to create a case, we have to create a commit message. These are the more about practices and process. And but however, we may be using a different tools to establish that because DevSecOps pipeline depends sometimes depends on technology we are using. Like one example. C++ build process is different than packaging a Java code. You need a different type of build agents to build up the C++ code versus a packaging about the Java libraries differences. So still we are building a software, but because of the, the component has a different needs, we may have a different pipeline. So software factor is consists of multiple pipelines, but enabling using the same practices and same process as an organization we can do. One quick example, going back to the first question again, because it's hurting us, it's hurting us specifically. If I don't have a good practice of getting the libraries, it is, it is more organizational policies, more organization practices. As an organization, we should help or guide the developer, pull the libraries properly from open source or manage the artifact catalog in an organization, we can use it over and over again in the pipeline, which is a practice. Or if I'm writing any type of uh, stories, it doesn't matter what type of tool you might be using it, think about the secure the knowledge at the beginning and then organizational policies, organization practices. So software factory is the combination of multiple pipelines and letting us use the same process and practices, we can deliver an applications or we can deliver apps as a result of this combination. So single DevSecOps pipeline is not. One quick example here before going to the next question, like AWS or Amazon, they have hundreds of pipelines. Hundreds of pipelines. They design the pipeline for a specific needs. Maybe they're creating a model of one of the microservices they might be creating the pipeline. So technically like Google or Amazon, there's a typical software factory they are talking, building a software. But say they're using the same practice. If you look at that, Google has a good a software engine practices everybody's following. It is not a wild west, everybody can do different things, no use the same practices, process and practices, we can deliver that. Actually, a definition of DevOps is also a set of principles and practices that enable Dev and Ops, including other stakeholders. This is a quick definition. It's gonna tell us again, set of practices and process, such as continuous integration, such as continuous delivery, such as continuous feedback. IEC, these are the common principles. 